Hey, violence. I don't want to play now. We're doing a commercial. <laughs> Come on, man. Dude. Cut. Cut. No. Cut it. Go lay down. Go lay down, buddy. I love you dearly. Yes, I do. Hi, guys. Skip here. Uh, just got something in the mail here from Guniac. Uh, our uh, Guniac EDF Creations, I believe he's, uh, is what he's calling, calling it. I've seen his, his logo once. I was trying to catch it for a, uh, put a picture of it up on the, on this, but I'm still looking, so, uh, and I need to get, get a hold of him and uh, uh, send him some money. So, I, Guniac, if you see this before you get your, your payment, uh, I did start that on the second, and it's taken three days for PayPal to get it. I don't un understand how or why. I should have just gone straight through PayPal, and they could have taken it out of my bank account, I guess. I didn't know how that worked. This is the first time I've done that, so... Bear with me, uh, your money's on the way. Anyway, this is Guniac Creations EDF Afterburner, guys, and I'd like to open it up and show it to you. Uh, believe it or not, Ray, I, I think Ray sent me two sets is what he said. Uh, one for the F-18, and he said that one's on the house. So I got I got one from one complimentary to do this video and, and, and get his product out there because I've been watching his stuff, guys, and this Afterburner he's got is, uh, uh, it's got to be like twice as bright as the RC Geeks. Sorry about that, Chris. But uh, this one really, really does look pretty bright. And the way it's designed, it looks like it doesn't have any exhaust restriction whatsoever. I have to admit, the RC Geeks, the way it's set up sometimes, or the way it's set up, uh, catches a little bit of air inside that pocket. Sure, probably keeps it cool, but it's also restricting the airflow a little bit. I can hear it. I know it's doing that because I can hear a whistle. And I didn't put any whistles in my F F22, and, and it whistles after I, a little bit after I put that thing in it. So I bothered not to put any whistles in that one. I figured it would already whistle on its own. But this one doesn't look like it's gonna whistle at all. And I wanna see what he sent me. It's very well wrapped. I mean, there was no shaking whatsoever, uh, whatsoever in here. But uh, he got it out to me in just a few days. Oh, he's even got it all wrapped up in a protective pouch and everything. Well. Ray, thank you again for this. I appreciate it, man. And, and uh, you know, I know you've been really, really, really busy. And you know, I totally understand. Yeah, he sent me two sets here, guys. Two sets. Let me get rid of the packaging. And uh, he's got a double set here. This is going to be for my SU30 70 millimeter. And this is going to be an awesome setup, guys. I've seen some of the pictures on it. In fact, one, one of the pictures were included on the. Uh, uh, before I started this video, one of the pictures that you saw. And that's the SU-30 with these things going. Guys, I'm gonna take these out of the bag. This is, what I'm what I'm gonna do first though, guys, I'm, this this bag here, this one here is, is the uh, E-Flight F-18, 80 millimeter. And you can see they are two different size cones. Looks like a very well-designed little unit here, guys. And like I said, uh, this is gonna fit right over the motor. Let me pull it out so you guys get a better look at this. Uh, I know some other guys have done some videos, uh, Farmer and, and some of the other guys out there have done some installs, and I believe uh, I believe Ray has done one himself, Guniac, Guniac 33. Guys, you got to check out Guniac 33 on YouTube. Guniac 33 flies a ton of jets. You get to see these in operation and working, and uh, uh, you'll see what a, what a marvelous product he's actually come up with here. And I really do like the way this is made off the bat. You don't have to clamp the uh, the little disc full of LEDs into a what looks like what it would appear to be cheaper mount system that the uh, the geek has with fingers that hold it on. I always end up having to glue around those fingers just to make sure that piece doesn't fly off. And uh, the base I usually put a little bit of a little bit of foam tack glue around anyway. And I'll probably do the same with this, but it should just slide right over. It's got a little notch here, a little notch here for the wire to slide up in there from the motor. So it should just fit cleanly, both sides. And uh, very, very small little unit, so that's not going to take up any space at all. Uh, and it looks like it's got ample wiring, guys. You know, where I always, like with the RC Geek, he sends you just the basics. You don't get a splitter, you don't get this, you don't get that. Uh, this one looks like it's got pretty much everything on it, including a switch to turn it on and off for when you're going to use it or not use it. So that's pretty nifty. Um, but it looks like it's got ample wiring. I know with the RC Geeks, I always had to put a, uh, and I've got two of them, and both times I've had to put an extension wire in between so it would make the uh, make the motors. Um, 
you know, so that's it's not a big deal or anything like that, but uh, uh, still. And now, obviously, he sent a, a, a system here, and um, I guess this one can run off the middle of the battery. So it's going to be running 3S off of a 6-cell pack, and obviously that one doesn't cause any problems. One of them that I had when you did that, it, it fried out the ESC. So hopefully this is a redesigned system. I hate to fry out an ESC on an expensive jet. But we're going to give it a test and give it a try here and see how it works. And uh, we're going to put this one in our F-18, E-Flight F-18. So uh, plus I want to do a little testing here. I've got a battery and a servo tester. So we're going to give this a little test drive too before I install it. All right. Uh, Ray out there, thank you again. Guys, want to check out Guniac 33 uh, on YouTube. Uh, I will include a link at the, to his channel on the bottom of this uh, uh, at the bottom of this video in the description. Uh, what was I going to say? I, I want you to, to guys to uh, 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 if you guys want to if, are interested in this product. That's what I was going to say. I'm sorry, going off the top of my head here, guys. Uh, if you're interested in this product, and I think it's an awesome product, and it doesn't weigh very much at all, it's going to be really pretty cool on the jet. And I know they're a lot brighter. Than, uh, than the ones I've got installed so far. Uh, but if you're interested, uh, his email address, you can contact him directly, is guniac33 at gmail.com. I'll have that in the description as well. And you can, you can talk to him uh, via email through that and, and tell him what your needs are. And, you know, he's, he's making a lot of different uh, uh, sizes that are fitting a lot of different planes. And if you have one in particular or something like that, he's making his own. So you could probably uh, work something out with him. His prices are reasonable on these things, guys. Um, honestly, I paid for this one, and uh, he probably still cut me a deal. $80 for, for a double set, and I got this one for free. That's, you just can't beat that anyway. I mean, that's like two afterburners for the price of one. The RC Geek, just single one, is, is $85 plus plus shipping and stuff. Um, you know, he just sent a roundabout price, and that's what I'm sending him. And uh, I think I'm going to be more than happy with these units. But we'll get them up and testing here in the next video, and then we're going to do an install, and then I'm hopefully be able to get the thing out and fly it. I haven't been able to fly anything, and I don't know how long. The weather's just not been conducent. And even when it's been nice, it's just been as windy as all get out. It's 20 mile an hour winds gusting to 27 the other night, the other day. So uh, hold tight or uh, check back shortly and we'll, we'll have another video up with this one being tested. And then I'll be installing the thing on the F-18 and then hopefully get it out and fly it. Okay. Thanks for watching. Remember, check out Guniac's channel, Guniac33. He's on YouTube. I'll, I'll leave a link at the bottom uh, uh, in the description. Also, his email link if you want to get one of these, uh, get some of these sets. Some of them, uh, you know, I think, are down around around fifty-five, sixty dollars for uh, for a complete set. You know, depending on what what you're getting. So uh, uh, check it out, guys. Check it out because it's a, a awesome product, and I like the way it's built. I give it a thumbs up from uh, Skip Built RC. Thanks for watching. We'll be back soon. Bye for now.